My name is Gavin Evans and this is a different kind of video. Today I'm going to talk about a TV show that's coming out soon called The Last of Us. And if you know me, you know that Last of Us 1 and 2 are my two favorite stories ever. I love them. I'm completely obsessed with them. I love movies, TV shows, and video games a lot and here are my favorite movies, TV shows, and video games. Last of Us is here. Last of Us Part 2 is here. I would go higher up but then you wouldn't see it. But the point is, I freaking love them. There's a TV show based on those games coming out soon and I'm very excited for it. So this video is just going to be a list of things that I want from it. The first thing I want is even though TV shows and video games are completely different mediums, they can't follow the story 100%. But I do think there's some essential plot points that have to carry over into the TV show. It has to focus on Joe and Ellie as their relationship progresses. And you also have to have Tess and Maria and Tommy and Bill and Sam and Henry. And you have to have David in the winter section. Those characters have to carry over to some degree. And I definitely want to see the story of Ellie's immune to the infection and Joe has to take her across country and then at the end he ends up saving her from the hospital. That has to carry over. Everything else you can change stuff up. It doesn't have to follow it 100%. What you do with each character can be different. When you get to the second game then you have to still have the boss to kill off Joe. You have to. That is a fundamental thing of the second game. I know people were mad because Joe is perfect and he can't make any mistakes but he did and he died. And if they back out of that, I'll be furious. And you have to have Abby, we have to sympathize with Abby, and you have to have Owen and Lev and Laura and Manny and the entire crew from the second game. Those elements have to carry over or else it won't even feel like Last of Us and Last of Us Part 2. I want to see those characters and I want to see the key plot points. The second point is that all the themes have to carry over. Love and loss, empathy, redemption, forgiveness, revenge, all those ideas have to carry over into the TV show because those are essential to its identity. The third thing that I like is to see more of the supporting characters. I love Bill and Sam and Henry and I like to see more of them, flesh them out further, take advantage of the medium. Have a full episode dedicated to telling the story about Bill's past with Frank. Have an episode where it focuses on Sam and Henry's past. How? Have an episode that focuses on the 20 years where Joe and Tommy were trying to survive. I like to see those elements come into play here because we know they exist, but I think if we get to see them in this medium, I think it would be really satisfying. And I'd also like an episode that focuses on the left behind storyline of Ellie before all these events happen to her. I'd like to see that. Like, I'd like these flashbacks to be the primary change that the show does with this story. The fourth thing that I want is I have to read this from the page so I pronounce it as perfectly as possible. Gustavo Santolea must do the music. He must. He's essential in setting up the tone of the games and that must carry over here. The games wouldn't be what they are without his music. It's essential. Please bring it into the TV show. My fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth points kind of go hand in hand, but let's do it one at a time. My fifth point is that I don't want the first season to be the first game. You've got plenty of time, space it out. I'd like the first episode to be Joe, Tommy, and Sarah trying to survive. And if by the end of the season, Joe rescues Ellie from the hospital, I'd be like, already? No, give us time in this world. Give us time with these characters. That's what I really want from this show. And that kind of leads me to my sixth point as well, but I love the structure of the second game. I think it's absolutely brilliant. The way that each flashback constantly recontextualizes everything that you've seen up until that point, it's handled perfectly. I don't know if that'd be carried over into the TV show medium really well. And I'd be totally okay if we had a full season of just the five year gap between the first game and the second game. I'd be totally okay with that and I think that's the way that they should approach it. Which my last two points lead to my seventh point which is I don't want the second game to be season two. Like I've heard so many people say already, oh people aren't prepared for what's going to come in season two. Stop. I'd like that to be season 4 or 5, and better yet, I don't want the second game to be just season 2. The second game could take up multiple seasons. Take advantage of it. Please, do not watch it. I want to see this story told in the best possible way, and if one season is Last of Us Part 2, I'll be very disappointed because there is so much there that it would feel like wasted potential. 
And that also brings me over to my eighth point, which is don't game a zone Do an adaptation of the two games. Don't get ahead of it. Don't create your own story. The first time that I want to play the events after the second game, I want it to be when I'm playing the third game. I don't want to see it on the TV show first. So I don't want them to get ahead of the video games. Like I know it's probably going to be eight years before the next Last of Us game comes out and that's perfectly fine. Take your time, make the best game possible and I don't want the TV show to get ahead of the games because I'd rather experience that with the games first. I also want to say that if they do do the direction of season one is the first game, season two is the second game, then the relationship of Joe and Ellie is automatically downplayed because it's in one season then it's like, oh, Joe's gone. Like for such an essential character of this universe, he should be in more than just one season. So I think that'd be a terrible mistake. And ninth point is, no character is safe. This world's brutal and relentless. Anyone can die at any moment. Take advantage of that. I remember the first time I saw Game of Thrones season one and I forget the character's name. Sorry, I'm not the expert, but Sean Bean character dies and I was shocked. I'm just like, oh, he didn't escape. I thought for sure he would, but he's died. Lots of people haven't played these games before. Give them the same experience. Do it. My tense point is that even though I love this world and these characters, don't forget, it's a horror story. Go far out on the hole. I love the clickers to be terrifying and intimidating. Okay, quick little side thing. Uh, this TV show is getting filmed pretty close to me and I'm trying desperately hard to get into it as a clicker. If I get in as a clicker and I get that gross fungus makeup on me, oh man, like I could die a happy man, that'd be so bad. So I really wanna be a clicker on this TV show. I'm trying, so fingers crossed. But um, yeah, definitely deliver on the whole aspects. I'd love it if this show was creepy and intense and thrilling, just like the games are. I really hope the horror elements carry over into the TV show because that's fundamental to the identity of these games. And please also include the Blodos and the Rat King. The Rat King has to be here. The Rat King is one terrifying son of a bitch. Oh my goodness. Ooh, terrifying. Please have him in the show. Which also leads to my 11th point, which is what I've already said, but um, these stories are character driven. Don't forget that. The characters and the relationships come first that's essential. For my 12th point, I really want them to successfully carry over the look of the games into the TV show of the old warding buildings, just plants growing everywhere, just the gross destructive look of the planet. I'd love it if they just catch that perfectly into this TV show. And the second game has some of the most haunting atmosphere I've ever experienced in any story ever. And I would just love it if they could retain that atmosphere for an entire season of television. It would be some really impressive work. Like especially the flooded shopping mall. Like the kind of action moments that you could get out of something like that would be insane. So yes, please do that. My 13th point is that I really hope that they have some of the human villains that are in the games. I'd love them to have some great action moments. I know this was originally going to be a movie, but Neil Druckmann's like, uh-uh, you're turning this story into an action story. But I do want some great action here, especially with David. Like, I want David to be a big character, and I hope they deliver on that front. And my last and final point is probably the most important one that we all have to accept, and that's Bella Ramsey is not going to be Ashley Johnson. Pedro Pascal is not going to be Troy Baker. It's so easy to say that, but when we see these two different actors with two different voices playing the two same characters that we know and love, it's going to be tough and we got to accept this show for what it is. And it's not going to be exactly like the video game. It doesn't mean it can't be as good as a video game. It's going to be different and we have to get used to that. So I just hope that these actors and everyone involved brings enough new to this show that it just doesn't feel like the same old, same old. I hope it doesn't feel like I'm watching a walkthrough of the game. I hope there's something unique about how they're telling the story in this way that really stands out. I hope Petro Pascal brings something new to Joel that Troy Baker didn't. Doesn't mean it has to be better, but I hope it's something different. Same with Bella Ramsey. These are two of my favorite characters ever. I think they're going to do a great job. I'm very excited to, and I just hope that they stand out in their own unique way. Anyways, those are some things that are important to me that they bring over into this Last of Us TV show. But what do you want them to bring into the TV show of Last of Us? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.